Welcome to the fifth uh, recitation in the recitation zero series. Uh, we will be discussing tensor dot and Einstein. Uh, so, before talking about tensor tensor dot and Einstein, uh, first we have to discuss what is a tensor. Uh, a tensor uh, is a multi-dimensional array capable of representing data from scalars. Uh, which are zero-dimensional vectors, one-dimensional matrices, two-dimensional, and so on, and so forth, uh, with high-dimensional tensors that could be 500 dimensions, regardless of the number of dimensions. Uh, both PyTorch and NumPy uh, provide a wide range of tensors, and also I support to do operations on those tensors. The operations supported by uh, NumPy and PyTorch are mathematical transformation like addition, multiplication, uh, and some more computation, computational uh, operations. There are also shape manipulation operations like reshaping, stacking uh, tensors on top of each other, and squeezing dimensions and also transposition. Uh, we can also extract some uh, data from it by indexing or slicing. We can use some reduction operations like uh, summing, averaging, getting the mean or the max values. And for PyTorch, we can use some GPUX related processing uh, that we use to. Uh, sometimes to automate the differentiation through gradients. So, uh, given these sets of operations, what is the einsum? The einsum is a combination of uh, uh, the element-wise multiplication uh, with also some shape manipulation technique techniques uh, like uh, transposition and also reduction operations uh, in summing. So the Einstein notation is uh, implies uh, does implies uh, does implies the summation over repeated indices and those repeated indices in different uh, tensors are multiplied over uh, through element-wise multiplication. If we take an example, in the matrix, mul uh, matrix multiplication, we multiply over the column uh, dimensions in the first array and the row uh, dimensions in the second array. So those two dimensions will be multiplied uh, will be multiplied in a element wise fashion and will be uh, summed over and reduced uh, to uh, give another mat matrix. Uh, tensor dot. Given these operations, we have uh, our uh, is a generalization of matrix multiplication to high dimensions and the idea is we are given some set of uh, dimensions dimension indices in the first and second uh, tensors and what we are going to do is uh, take slices through these dimensions multiply them in element wise uh, fashion and then we uh, reduce it by summing over. Uh, and uh, you can say that the simplest form of tensor dot is vector mul uh, vector uh, dot product. So in this uh, recitation. We will, we will be using NumPy, PyTorch, and Time uh, in selected 
uh, operations. I will explain uh, a handful of operations here, but not all the operations. So first of all, let's start with Einsam. As I said, Einsam is a very handful mm -hmm. technique that combines element-wise product reduction with summation and also transposition. Uh, in order to use Einsam, uh, we have uh, to first give a string that uh, specifies some operation. To specify an operation, we have to specify the inputs. And this will define the number of dimensions in the uh, input tensors and also the dimensions we want to do the operations on. And this arrow separates the input uh, specs from the output spec. And the output spec uh, defines a single tensor uh, that we expect the results to be uh, on. And then uh, we pass our input tensors that uh, we specified in the input specs. And the einsum function will give us the output in the shape of the output specs. Uh, so uh, the definition of NumPy einsum and PyTorch einsum is very close. The difference uh, that NumPy have multiple other uh, arguments for it. So let's start with vector operations. Uh, as you can see here, we define some vectors, and uh, both of them are of shape 3. They are simple vectors. Uh, here, we are doing some operation on singular vector, like summing the elements. Then we uh, go through uh, operations that requires uh, one or more vectors, like the element-wise product. But we will be discussing the dot product. In terms of tensor operations, the dot product is very simple. We uh, do element-wise product and we sum uh, those elements and reduce the single dimension we have into a scalar or zero dimension tensor. So in dot uh, in uh, in sum notation we can we can write this as we have a vector of uh, dimension i and another vector of dimension i and since we uh, specified i twice we will be doing element wise product and since we did not specify i in the output that means we want to reduce this uh, dimension and since it's a singular dimension in both vectors we will get a scalar since we did not specify any dimension in the output. We can also write it as uh, this way. And that means uh, every dimension that has been repeated in different uh, input spec of tensors will be reduced by summation. And we will keep only the dimensions that are not repeated. Uh, and since i is the only dimension and it's repeated, it will be uh, reduced to zero dimension vector. Uh, so we are here. Com uh, here we are comparing the einsum, both einsum notations to mp dot dot, which does the uh, dot product. And from the results, as you can see, they are the same value. Let's go to matrix operations. So here we are defining some matrices. And there are many operations uh, listed in this notebook. You can uh, later on view them all. But uh, here we are going to see the example of matrix multiplication. In matrix multiplication, if we describe it in tensor operations, we are doing uh taking every row in the first uh matrix 
and we go through the columns. So we are take, uh, going through, uh, we are multiplying the first array uh, through the columns uh, in element wise uh, with uh, the second matrix through the rows, meaning we are taking the column in the second matrix and the rows of the first matrix, multiplying them in uh, uh through a element wise product and then summing uh the the vector we got from multiplying the row with the column so to describe this in ein some notation we are going to specify that we have a matrix with two dimensions i and j and we have another matrix of j and k and uh, we are going to multiply through j because we uh, specified we, uh, that those dimensions uh, uh, we are going to do the element wise product on them and since we are not mentioning j that means we want to reduce j by summation and one of the main things uh, if we if we imply if we use j for both Dimensions that means those two dimensions must be of the same length. Uh, here we are comparing uh, both of the notations, and as you can see here in the second notation, uh, since we did not uh, specify any output spec, that means we will keep i and i and k since they are uh, mentioned only once in this in the string in the input specs. We are comparing uh, this operation with uh, MATML that does matrix multiplication also. And also, uh, if you look into the results, they are the same as uh, the Einstein. So uh, let's go through uh, some more complex sensor operations with Einstein. So we are here defining two tensors and uh, there are for the tensors uh, the, the dimensions 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2, 3, 5, 6 so we are going to look into the rest operator so if I'm going to do some um, ein sum operation and we only care about some uh, dimension dimensions in this case we are looking into the last two dimensions of both uh, tensors and the second uh, condition that we, we, we must have that uh, the first dimen uh, the dimensions we are ignoring they are the same for both tensors we can use this rest operator and just focus on the dimensions we want to address as you can see from this example we are ignoring those two dimensions. We are focusing on the last two dimensions of both arrays. And we want to do uh, in those two dimensions something something similar to matrix multiplication. And then we can keep those two dimensions, uh, the first two dimensions that we ignored. And the outcome would be uh, 2 by 3 times uh, i, which is 4, uh, times k, which is 6. Uh, going on, uh, we can go through uh, the tensor dot, and as we described it, it's a generalized form of matrix multiplication, where we multiply slices into each other through uh, element-wise product, and then reducing those dimensions by uh, summing over these dimensions. So, uh, in terms of einsum. Uh, we are taking two matrices, we are multiplying i, uh, the first dimension with first dimension, the second dimension with the second dimension, and the third, uh, and the last dimension with the third dimension, and keeping only the third dimension of the first array, and the last dimension of the second array. So we are taking slices 
from the first array through the first, second, and last dimensions and multiplying them with the first, second, and third dimensions in the second array. And we are summing uh, over these dimensions. And as we described, tensor dot in einsum, there is also the uh, tensor dot operation, a standalone operation in both PyTorch and NumPy. And uh, here, using the same example, as we said, we multiplied over the first, second, and the last dimension with the uh, first, second, and third dimensions. And we can compare it with the same operation that we used above with Einstein. And we can see that they have the same results. We can print, it, print them since they are four-dimensional uh, tensors. And it's hard to evaluate them using uh, your eyes. So we are using uh, mp.org close to check the values. So here, uh, there, there are many practical examples for tensor dot and ionsum. You can use them through convolutional linear networks. You can also use them uh, for implementing transformers and so on and so forth. And when implementing them, there are some uh, practices that you have to make sure uh, of using the memory efficiently. And uh, in NumPy, they are, there is the optimize argument. You have to use uh, uh, optimize the best or a good algorithm for, to optimize uh, the Einsum operation. We can go through some uh, common patterns for Einsum. There are many operations, as you can see, and feel free to try them later. In conclusion, uh, tensor dot and einsum are very powerful operations, and uh, when you do not have any built-in operation in NumPy or PyTorch, that uh, you can do the combination of uh, the uh, tensor operations that you want. Uh, most probably, einsum and tensor dot will be your friends on this. And you can do many things with them uh, since they are very flexible and very powerful. And when you understand how to use them, they, they uh, give you new capabilities. Uh, to implement the code efficiently. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope this recitation helps you uh, understanding tensor dot and einsum. And uh, yeah, again, thank you for listening and have a good day.